Good afternoon, dear colleagues. My name is Turgumbayeva Balgan Kukarovna, Nazarbayev Intellectual School, Kokshitao. A lesson of critical thinking in the eighth grades. So, hello, dear students. Now, let's begin our lesson. Have a look at these four pictures and try to guess for uh, two words then have a look at these four pictures and try to guess one word all in all it will be an interesting expression about us so again have a look at the first picture what can you see here of course you can see students you can see small students then you can see high school students and adults what about this picture again we see the process of reading studying and we see the owl, the symbol of wisdom. So who can guess the meaning of these words? Here we have one word or two, you may say two, and here one word. Pay attention to the letters. Of course, it is lifelong learning. Three L. It is the process of education, lifelong learning. Thank you. So, in, in general, the topic of our lesson is what is education for? What is education for? So, you can read lesson objectives. So, by the end of the S lesson, we should be able to draw the mind maps about education read to elicit information so we should do jigsaw reading draw comp maps to show the main ideas of the steps and critically analyze and comment the classmates ideas about lifelong learning these are our objectives and one more objective the mankind would have remained on one and the same level without education. So, what is education for? You may use different opinions. We will look savage without education, right you are. Education is the f norm of nowadays life. Of course it is. Education helps us to remain humans and due to education we differ from animals and cannibals the mankind would have remained on one and the same level without education so these are the main reasons yes and I would like you to read this expression of John Dewey about education we are accustomed that education, when we are small, prepares us for life. But he said that education is not preparation for life. Education is life itself. So let's play our favorite activity, Pass the Kop Disha. This time, you should pass the Kopdisha uh, and when music stops any of you open opens it and takes one card you should read the expression and explain its meaning by your own words so we know that education is a progressive discovery of our own ignorance. 
a very interesting expression by Will Durant. Let's begin. What does it mean? The more we study, the more we understand the gap between the things we know and don't know. Please express your own opinion by your own words. We realize that we didn't know many things. So I think that you are right. Next expression is a wise person is clever enough to give arguments for and against a certain problem. So how do you think? What does this mean? You can prove your thoughts if you know more. Of course, if we know more, we can do it. Next, though you are a king, you must know grammar to speak properly. How can you explain this expression? Nobody respects an illiterate person. So maybe right you are. It is more difficult to learn and study, but it is easier to demonstrate your knowledge. It is easy to discuss any problem if you know everything. So right you are, the teacher is wise enough to teach his students even more than he knows himself. How can it be? When the teacher teaches the students to think, their thoughts can be different and go in many directions. Yes, of course, they can be different. They may be different and they may go in many directions. So, thank you very much. Next stage is reading. The text is called 21st Century Learners. Sorry, let's watch video about the 21st century learners. And you will have a while watching task. You should make some notes about the 21st century learners skills. Please be ready to listen and make some notes.
Now we should divide into three groups technology, creation and inspiration. Each of you will get one card and there you will find the name of your group. Please, you should go to the desk with a certain name. Please, can you answer my question? What is education? So first we will do an individual mind mapping. We will check our knowledge. So please, let's work individually and make a mind map of our thoughts. So, what is education? So, of course, first you think about your subjects. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So then, will you please um, take markers and go to our graffiti wall you will have one minute to think about associations on the topic what is education or what education is then come up to the graffiti wall and draw or write everything you want to share on the topic when the graffiti wall is ready you will comment on your works. You may work individually. You may do it together with a friend, if you like. So, Thank you very much. Now please, can you tell me what is music for you? Or maybe what is sport, art, literature, history for you? Sport is my love. I go in for sport every day. History is my favorite subject. It's the main field of education. It tells us about our life. And uh, how do you think how to become a lifelong learner? Pay attention to the picture, to the pictures. Again, we see here young students and we see adults. Of course, lifelong learner is a person who learns during the whole life. It is never late to study, to learn. Now you will have, uh, you will get a text. How to become a lifelong learner. We will do jigsaw reading. We will check our understanding. So we have three groups. And each group will get one text. The first group will think about learn how to learn. The second group will think about read, read and read. And the third group will think about teach others, about teaching others. So Group one, learn how to learn. Read steps from one up to five. So if there are some unknown words, you can use your gadgets to find out the meanings of those words. You will brainstorm the ideas learn how to learn the main ideas of the text.
So we'll have steps from one up to five. Of course, you will have time for reading and then for brainstorming your ideas. We can return to the first part once again. You may not pay attention to the board because you have your sheets with the text. So I think we are ready. Let's begin brainstorming of our ideas. Learn how you learn. Yes, Abraham Lincoln. Be wary of past memories. Try many different things. Making a commitment to learn something new every day. Learn where you find a talent and interests. Learn through multiple methods. Beyond the learning, exploration and opportunity, mix learning the basics with more fun learning, nice, learn the basics, so thank you, and group two, group two, your part was read, 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 your steps were from six up to ten, and you also had a text in the sheets. So please, what about your ideas? All sorts of books. Your experience may be your best teacher. Theory is multiple theory of multiple intelligences. Online sources of information. Fiction readers, observe, make friends with your local library, be mindful, the educational value, people who experience difficulties, create. And group three had a part teach others, steps from 11 up to 14. So teach others your main ideas, mentor or a guide, teach others, apply what you learn, take notes, to teach is to learn twice, take classes both formal and informal, evaluate and reflect, asking the right questions, read, develop critical thinking skills. Keep a journal, open courseware project. So your ideas are very interesting. You've managed to catch the main ideas and write them down while brainstorming. And now your task is to make concept maps using your previous knowledge and analyzing the content of the text. Here you will group in so concept maps. We should use of course assessment criteria. Let's discuss them together. What would you like to include into these criteria? So logical sequence of all three parts. 
I think it is the main thing. Thank you. Vocabulary range. Yes. And we will check how hard you worked. Creativity in drawing a concept map. Of course, we should be creative. Logical sequence of lifelong learning plan. It is the next stage. And total. So we'll assess two steps. The highest point is three points for each criterion. The highest total score should be 12, 12 points. So and each group will get such a table as to assess your group mates. So drawing a concept map depends on your imagination on your vision and this part shows our application how we use the material we've learned group learning how to learn likes rather learn you beyond the learning Learn the basics, multiple methods, talent, interest, exploration, and opportunity. Group read, read, read. All sorts of books, fiction readers, difficulties experienced, online sources, educational values, local libraries. And teach others. It is the third group. Mentor or a guide. Take notes. Take classes. Evaluate and reflect. Keep a journal. Teach others. So, of course, they can be different. So, it is another sample of a concept map, which is joined in one topic, how to become a lifelong learner. Then we will have three parts, learning how to learn, read, 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 and teach others. And, of course, each of these parts uh, will express different things and you've showed you've shown them very nicely and even you use different colors the next task is to create your own plan for lifelong learning and it is synthesis it will show how deep can you look in this problem if we divide our life into four parts so school years student of a university uh, the leader of a team and studying abroad so we can see that we should do different activities if it is school years then project work math olympiad expo exams of course you can include anything you like you like here because it's up to you it's individual If you are a student of a university, so that is a student of Nazarbayev University, a member of the international organization, which is a very nice plan. And then uh, for the leader of a team, a unique sample of anything you think about. And leader of young explorers, in the last stage, studying abroad, Cambridge University projects. So studying abroad may occur at any age. The leader of a team can occur at any age as well. As for the first two school years and student, student of university, I think it's closer to our 
age. We should do it when we are young. Mm -hmm. And as for the rest uh, too, so it means that we can do it during our life any time we choose. So it means that our plan is a real lifelong learning plan. Please now stand up in groups and move clockwise. Discuss your classmates' works and make peer assessment. You have uh, your imagination. You will compare the works of your classmates with your own thoughts, the thoughts of your classmates with your own thoughts and make peer assessment. So let's do it like two stars and one wish using this strategy. It will be a bit easier for you to do it this way. You are free to stand up and move, please. So now you have seen, you have read your classmates' thoughts and you had an opportunity to compare them with your own thoughts so uh, and let's make some reflection let's return to the objectives of our lesson and make a conclusion have we guessed the topic of the lesson at the beginning yes Have we drawn the mind maps about education? Yes, we were able to do it. Did we do jigsaw reading? Did we elicit any information? Yes, of course. It was not easy for you, but you did it. Did you draw concept maps to show the main ideas of the steps? Yes, we drew them. And we tried to analyze critically and comment our classmates' ideas about lifelong learning. So, can you answer my question now? Please listen to me and answer my question. What does this picture mean? What does this picture mean? Of course, right you are. It means that together we've managed to make the beginning of lifelong learning process. Because this process is not preparation for our life. It is our life itself just now. When, you are, when we are young and when we study at school. So, my dears, I'm so grateful to you because you've done lots of work today. And the main idea is that together we've managed to make the beginning of our lifelong learning process. Thank you very much. The lesson is over.